you are watching a series of videos about JWT tutorial from 100bytes.com. In this video, we are going to see about what is nested JWT. In the last three videos, we have seen uh, what is uh, JWT, what is JSON Web Signature and JSON Web Encryption. I'll just go through briefly about what all these three things. JSON Web Token is uh, represented by the JSON, that is JavaScript Object Notation, which is encoded and decoded using a base64 URL format. It, which is if, uh, the, this token is very compact and URL safe being that is like it can be sent over HTTP headers or URI para query parameters. JSON Web Token requires a very less processing power to process it, so it can be used in the mobile world also. Okay, uh, this JWT token is sent over wire with base64 uh, encoder format. Uh, so this token is not trusted until it is cryptographically secured. This can be secured by signing an encryption. So signing is done by the JSON web encryption, uh, JSON web signing, uh, where we uh, sign the claims. That is like a payload which we sent over the token using a uh, like a uh, sender's uh, private key, and in the recipient side where they will verify it using a uh, sender's uh, public key. Okay, so this can be uh, this JSON web signature uh, provides the integrity of the JWT token. Now we want to maintain the confidential token that can be achieved by JSON web encryption where uh, in a where in a symmetry key that is a content encryption key is generated every time a token is generated and that key is used to actual encryption of a uh, payload and this content encryption key is get encrypted by the uh, uh, receiver's public key that means like only the encrypted key is sent over the wire and in the receiver side first uh, they will decrypt the uh, encrypted key uh, using a uh, receiver's private key to get the content encryption key and using this content encryption key they will decrypt the actual payload to get the uh, claims the last two videos of this series we have seen that either the uh, json web token is signed or encrypted even the rfc of a jwt token is mentioned the like that jot token can be represented as a jws or jwe but how we can achieve this integrity and confidence if we want to uh, send the jot token over the non secure channel what is nested jwt a nested jwt it's it is simply a jot token inside a jot token one important thing in this is like we have to set the uh, content type of the uh, header to JWT that is CTY colon JWT has to be set in the header of the JWT token. So that will uh, that 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 gives a metadata like uh, there is a token inside a token. So as explained in the earlier like uh, the JWT token can be either signed or encrypted. Uh, but but using the nested JWT feature, we can able we can we can make we can make the token as both sign and encrypted. This is not only the use case. Like let's say let's assume like we are receiving a JWT token, um, and we need to verify the signature of that JWT token. Until who is the issuer of the JWT token, we can't verify the signature. So for that, like uh, we can first get the issuer, and then after that get the corresponding issuer's uh, public key, uh, then we can verify the signature. Okay, this is the Java program where we where I'm going to ex uh, generate JWT token inside a JWT token. Uh, here, just assume like both sender and receivers are in the same program after this line number 72 it is a receiver sent uh, this uses a library jaws 0.4.1 in the sender send this part of the code is used to generate the claims uh, like which i explained in the first tutorial uh, first video of this series that is jwt introduction and the next one is signing where the signing they use the uh, sender's private key uh, like they signed it and they generated the signed jwt Okay, so here the payload is climb start to JSON. Just note these two things. And in the next is in, this is explained and this is explained in the JWS uh, tutorial. And next is encryption. Here, like as explained in the JWS tutorial, this is, should be executed in the recipient side. But as we are having sender and receiver in both, both are in same code. So I'm just executing here. Assume that uh, this line of the code is executed in the recipient side and they have sent the uh, public key to the uh, sender actually so so here you see we are setting the uh, recipient public key and uh, you, there is one more one two couple of things you have to notice like the payload is set as a signed JWT and not the actual payload okay you see here this uh, this signed JWT is set as a payload to the uh, uh, for the JSON web encryption and the header is set as a CTY JWT which is required for nested JWT 
Once it is done, then you will get encrypted JWT. That means this encrypted JWT will contain a uh, token inside a token uh, the ins uh, where both, uh, both signing and encryption is uh, established with this. That is like confidential integrity is maintained. After this, this token is sent over the wire. Once the token is received in the receiver send, first we need to decrypt and then we have to verify the signature. So for the decryption, we have to, uh, we have to build the consumer. While building the consumer, uh, we have to skip all the validators and signature verification and set the recipient's private key and build the consumer. This the using this consumer, we can able to decrypt and get the claims. So this is the line of the code where we will decrypt and get the claims and, and I'm printing the claims. Now we need to get the JWT context to for verification of the signature that can be achieved by this line of the code where uh, where we are passing the encrypted JWT and using the same consumer as we created earlier where skipping the verification that will return a JWT context. Now uh, we, 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 return, we got the JWT context where the decryption is uh, success, uh, where, the, where the token is decrypted successfully. After that, uh, we have to build a consumer again where we need to set the audience, issuer and the verification key. That verification key is a uh, sender's public key and if you want to uh, require subject and everything. So this will, uh, this, consumer, this consumer object will be used to process the JWT context which is like a decrypted one where, where this line of the code do the verification of signature and verify that expected parameters are matched. Uh, so this API will throw an exception if there is an issue. Uh, so that means like if the JWT uh, signature is valid, is printed means uh, the signature is valid. Let's execute this code. Run as Java application. Yeah, the, the code is executed. So in the in the as usual, like we send the same same set of claims. Okay. So here, first this is signed JWT, which is passed as an input of the encryption. So where we get the encrypted JWT. Okay. And then we have received the JWT claims like here. All those things, whatever we sent, uh, we sent from the we sent in the sender side, uh, what uh, which are received perfectly here, and we see the uh, message called JWT signature is valid. That means, uh, uh, that means like the signature in the JWT token is valid. So this is the way we have to create the nested JWT token. Uh, the important thing is like we have to set the header CTY as a JWT. The uh, like uh, I have shown the use case where both encryption and signing that is like confidential integrity is maintained uh, using a nested JWT token. In the next video, I will explain about JSON WebKey. For more tutorials, please visit 100bytes.com. Thanks for watching.